This town hall meeting aims at receiving and announcing contributions of citizens across all critical sectors of the economy. This is the first time such platform is provided for people at Senatorial District to participate in programs and planning of the state. The Awujale of Ijebuland, represented by the Dagburewe of Idowa, Obayunusa Adekoya, and the representative of Remo Traditional Institution, lamented the poor state of health facilities, public schools, and security. They called on government to, as a matter of urgency, step up the construction and rehabilitation of rural and township roads across the central district, as well as resuscitate local government to follow suit. for the road construction in Oku State and particularly Oku East. The governor's attention was also drawn to security threat at the Oku Water site with an appeal to look into the Olokola Free Trade Zone project and the deep sea port where government can generate huge revenue. These so-called kidnappers, they believe they can enter Oku State through water side and they have been troubling us. Please, Excellency, you have been doing everything for us. Please continue to do it and help us. We also want you to uh, embrace SDG programs in your budget, as this encompasses so many things that people are already agitating for, like uh, good, uh, good roads, quality education, health facility. We thank you that uh, uh, this present administration has passed a resolution that 10% people with disability must be ascension to, for employment, for government employment. But sir, we are not using this opportunity to request for food bureau. The governor of Prince Dakwabiodo pointed that sustainable development will only be achieved when there is proper planning. He restated his commitment to goal 10 and 17 of sustainable development goals, saying the continuous engagement of the people will strengthen the bonds between government and residents. We strongly believe that governance should be a participatory process and an inclusive one. Achieving the open state of our dreams will require the input of all. So I believe that the people should have a say on issues that concerns them and they should therefore be allowed to take their rightful place in the governance process. The governor frowned against illegal felling of trees in the state's forest reserves as he maintained that embargo placed on tree felling is still in force.